we're finally ready to walk through the report view in Power BI Desktop. As a quick recap, the last two environments that we've explored before heading to the report view, we come up here to the left, or the diagram view or relationship view, that's where we created all of our relationships. We also spent a little time in the data view, allowing us to explore and look at our data and see information at the row level. So finally, what I want us to do is come up here to that top button, which is the report view. Now, the best way that I can describe this for you is that the report view or Power BI desktop as a concept is really a merge or combination of the best parts or components of Excel with the best parts or presentation components of PowerPoint creating Power BI Desktop. It's the kind of the best of both worlds. Now to show exactly what the layout is, let's use a little bit of data as an example. So I'm gonna come up to my fields list over here on the right, which is very similar to the layout we saw in the data tab. And I'm just gonna grab sales amount. I'm gonna bring that onto the canvas. Then I'm gonna pair that with just a basic column, which will be the product category on the axis. And we will discuss in further detail the types of charts and visualizations once we get to that component later on. I just want to show what that is going to be in here as we start to build out our DAX calculations that will populate all of these. Now there's a couple of important components that I want to point out about the Power BI interface. You'll notice that when I dragged these items onto the canvas, it defaulted to this visualization type up here called clustered column chart. Now that is created by default, but you can swap to any other type of visualization in here. Any of these will work. And I want you to notice as well, take a look down here below. Watch the values in here and see how they change between visualization. So it shows in here what is dependent or what is able to be used whenever you change your visualization uh, via this selection over here. Now that area will always be able to take a combination of your lookup values as an example product category, which is text you'd want to display. And then value down here for a lot of these, that's going to be the calculation that you want to show in terms of that number value. Now, the reason I'm kind of showing you this a little bit before we start writing our DAX calculations, it's going to show you an important piece that is missing if you just simply use a basic column like we did here by adding that to the value section. Right now, it's currently aggregating by doing a sum of sales amount across these categories. I have a few other options. I can also do averages, mins, maxes, things like that but you might notice that there's one thing that's lacking from this list. So I have no option here to do a comparison. So those net calculations that I want to calculate cannot be done in here. I have no way using this dropdown list to select net profit or net quantity or anything else that needs to compare two or more columns together. So I'm going to need to be able to create those DAX calculations that I mentioned to achieve those calculations. Now, the other thing that I'll briefly mention here is all of these visualizations, just like in PowerPoint, can be freely moved around, adjusted, rotated, resized, whatever you need to do to get them. Um, and we will, again, explore them further once we get to the visualization component, but they're really nice just to add onto here as you start to build out your calculations, just to see your data as you crunch your numbers, uh, which we'll start to do in the next couple of videos. That about covers it for this video. In our next video, we're going to dive further into the ideas and concepts behind DAX and some of the capabilities it has in terms of what it can calculate and how before we start writing our first calculations.